Lighting a candle is an act of defiance. Lighting a candle is a prayer for courage. Lighting a candle is a moment to breathe and reflect. Lighting a candle is a step toward God. Out in the world where you and I live, help me today to light a candle of love and life. Amen. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? And Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. And Jesus said to him, do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Not only did Jesus make the scribes and Pharisees look foolish, but he finally spoke out openly against them. Sometime during the day, the chief priests met together with the high priest Caiaphas to plan the killing of Jesus. Judas Iscariot met with them and agreed to deliver Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. On Wednesday, Jesus did not venture back into Jerusalem, but spent the entire day at the home of friends in Bethany. At dusk, he walked out onto the roof of the house and watched the sun setting behind the Judean hills. Memories of childhood, youth, and growing up surely mingled with thoughts about tomorrow and the road he must walk. He had been about his father's business for 33 years, and his work was now almost done. His life had been filled with love, wondrous love, and now in perfect wondrous love, he was about to die. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? peace, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God in the embrace of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen.